think artificial intelligence is obviously coming, but what industries do you think will be most affected? Legal is probably the number one industry that could be disrupted by AI. You can, you can search every precedent in the history of mankind with a machine. You don't need a paralegal to do that anymore. And they'll write the brief for you. So the legal profession is probably target one. Not far behind is advertising. When the machine is gonna update advertising and keep bombarding you with more and more ads, with more and more offers until you take one. So humans won't be there. They'll be maybe guiding it, but it'll, be, it'll change advertising. It's another big user of space, finance. You tell me, I mean, there's buttons now on your computer, they'll be running a lot of the stuff for you. So it's, it's, it could fundamentally shake up permanent demand for office. Now, sometimes people are saying that the best investment opportunity now is to stress real estate debt, that you could buy the, the debt from banks at a discount and so forth, but you think it's too early for that? They're just beginning to, you know, we were going to give back an office building and they said, well, not so fast. <laughs> if you want to, we'll restructure the loan and we'll cut it, the loan in half and you put the money in here and we'll take this as a junior note because the banks don't want the assets back. And, and why don't they want them back? Because they think it's going to go down even further. They, yeah, because they got to carry them. They're not set up to carry these assets. Right. And they got to go hire someone. They got to go the leasing themselves. It's not their business. They'd rather have it. A GP like your old firm Carlisle or Starwood or Blackstone hold on to the asset and try to work it out. So a lot of fortunes were made in the real estate world in 07, 08 when people bought distressed real estate and all in the late 80s too yep. when the RTC was here. So do you see funds being formed to buy these assets but you think they won't be available for a year or two? Well right now you have an unusual situation in the real estate markets because everyone's sort of looking at the yield curve and it says rates will be lower later. Everyone says, you know, survive till 25. Hold on to your assets, sell. So transaction volumes have plummeted. Nobody's trying, if, unless you have to sell something today, nobody wants to sell anything today. They think tomorrow will be rosier. So for the most part, everybody's pushing any sales back. And I think transaction buys in apartments are down 60%, industrial down 70%. It's, gonna, it's a very dry, you know, there's no IPOs and there's no sales. In housing, do you see a recession there because prices are going to come down at some point or you don't see a recession in housing? I, I think um, the housing markets had a very unusual situation where Powell's um, increase in rates has diminished supply and people, and I'm not sure we've ever had a situation where so many people have locked, the house, have locked in their mortgage costs. So right now people are sticking in their house, which has diminished the supply of homes for sale. I wonder when rates come down, homes will be sold, like people will start because the, the mortgage will no longer be a reason to hold on to the house. And whether that will offset will probably be an increase in supply. Um, as the builders resume, resume a more normal cycle. So maybe the housing market just stagnates for a while, but it, it, over time it's headed up. All right, let's suppose I'm, I'm gonna invest in real estate and I'm not a wealthy person, but I have some money. Should I buy a, a, a publicly traded uh, share in a REIT? You, you operate a REIT. Uh, REIT business two is REITs. that? All right, one public REITs. and one private. All right, right. Yeah. is that a good business to be in, in terms of, of operating it? Is it a good thing for people to now invest in a REIT? Yeah, I, look, I think real estate has a, has a nice place in the balance sheet of any individual. But I think the REITs in general in here will look really interesting. And we, we in the pandemic, we raised a special situations fund and bought 15 names in the REIT business. And we were up like 70% at one point. Um, we're going to do that again. And we, I think if you take a long-term view, some of these good companies are, they're good companies with the wrong interest rate environment. I, even, I wouldn't even say they have the wrong balance sheet, but they are so out of favor. All you, every day you pick up, you turn on the news and real estate, real estate, real estate. There's some really good buys out there.